Here in the Slovenian capital, the EU has helped fund a green retrofit for dozens of public buildings. The programme has slashed both CO2 emissions and energy costs. We have done it with all our buildings, all our kindergartens, swimming pools, schools and, of course, city administration buildings. The financial impact is more than 40% of energy savings. The European Parliament wants to see more projects like this. It's overhauling energy efficiency rules, targeting high-consumption sectors like heating and cooling, industry and data centres. The public sector is expected to lead the way in greening infrastructure and buildings like schools and hospitals. The Commission has proposed member states cut energy use 36% by 2030. Parliament wants a binding target of 40%. The greenest energy is the energy that you don't use. So uh, this is why energy efficiency is, is vital in the climate effort. If we had 100% renewable energy, you could say that it didn't matter so much how much energy we, we, we used. But unfortunately, that's not the case. We have coal and gas and oil in our energy mix. A revised energy efficiency directive is part of Europe's commitment to cut greenhouse gas emissions 55% by 2030 and become the first carbon neutral continent by 2050. It's also a key step in tackling energy poverty and reducing dependence on Russian fossil fuels.